Hello and welcome to our latest Luminar Neo video where today we're going to be taking a look at overlays. Overlays are a great way to add interest to our image and over on our marketplace we've got a great range to choose from, from snow, film analog, textures and much more. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Prism Light Pack and we'll also be seeing how different blending modes affect our images and our overlays. So let's take a look. Okay, so to begin with, let's go through the Prism Light Pack and I'll show you each one on this photo that I took in Tokyo many years ago now it feels like. And then after this, I'm going to give you some insight about how to apply overlays, but also how to get the best results when it comes to the blending options, because there are many to choose from and it can be really tricky to know how to get the best results for your shots. So I'll give you some tips and tricks on that. As for now, we're just working with the layers, hiding and showing them. And there are a few benefits to working with layers and I'll go into more detail about those in a moment. But as for now, we can actually apply multiple layers at the same time. I'll show you this last one. All right, so if I go back up to the top here, I'll show you two at the same time. And you can apply really as many as you want. And that means you've got a lot of uh, leeway to experiment and have fun with them. And it also means you can apply different overlays from different packs. So go ahead, try that out. As for now, let's go into how to apply overlays, but also how to get your best results then with your blending options. First, let's look at how to install an overlay pack and then we'll see how to apply one to your image. So go down to get more assets. And then inside of here, we've got all of the overlays that are available on the marketplace. We're gonna to go to filter and light leaks to find the prism pack that we're working with. And that's right here. Once you've purchased it, it will ask you to install. I've already done so, so go ahead and close that window. And then inside of here, we can find all of our purchased items. So press see all, and then we go prism light overlays. I'm gonna click on the first one. That's now applied to my image. And then these are all of the layer properties over here. So this is going to give us the control over how to blend this layer with our shot. We're gonna go through these options bottom to top though first. So we've got image mapping here, which can dictate how the overlay is going to fit our shot. I'm gonna go with stretch. Now this can distort the overlay. It doesn't matter too much really with, uh, with prison light leaks, but just be careful when you do use the stretch option. Otherwise you've got fill. Then we've also got some flipping options. So go ahead and experiment with that. We've got our blending options here. And then finally, we've got opacity. We'll go into the blending options now though, because there are a few things that we need to go through to look at how to get the best result for your shot. So as you can see that the, all of the overlays inside of this pack, they all come with black backgrounds and that goes for most of the packs on the marketplace. What this means is we want to use the screen blending option because it's going to get rid of all of the darker parts of our layer and keep all of the brighter parts. So I'm going to apply that to my image now, put the opacity all the way up. And now you can see that we've kept all of the detail from the overlay and got rid of all of the dark parts. You might find some look with Lighten. The only issue with Lighten is it takes the brightest pixel between both layers. So we've lost all of the light leak right here at the bottom of the image, as you can see. So really you might find that you get most look with screen. Right, let's look at other ways now to work with overlays. So I've got a photo here that I took of a cat with a bee. And what I want to do is create a more dreamy look using the prism light overlays that we've got. So I'm going to go ahead and apply one. Use this one here. And like before, I'm going to select screen. Bring the opacity down a touch. Okay, now you'll remember me saying that there are several benefits to working with layers. And what this means is I can actually edit the layer separately from the image. And that's going to work well for me here because I'm not enjoying how cold this light looks. I want it to look more warm. So with the layer selected, I've got the blue box, uh, the blue outline around my box. I'm now going to be able to edit this layer separately from my image. So I'm going to apply more warm temperatures, bring that tint over to the purple a bit more. And then I'm going to just do a slight hue shift like so. So there you go. So what you want to do is experiment with editing your layer and make it more fitting with your image. So as you can see, working with overlays is a great way to add more interest to your photos, creating some eye-catching effects and details. If you've worked with overlays recently and want to share those results with us, you can do so using the hashtag madewithluminar and I shall see you in the next one for some more Luminar tips, tricks and tutorials. Goodbye.